a father. I love daddy. I love my daddy. A husband. Fred was just a humble, creative, loving man. I wanted to bring his community up. A friend. And he always had a joke and he always made you laugh and he just made everyone feel like they were family. A crowd gathered for the unveiling of the street co-naming in honor of rapper Fred the Godson. Today's just a special day because, you know, Fred dedicated his life to his community, you know, to his art, but also uplifting the Bronx, the South Bronx. And, um, you know, it's, I'm proud. Fred the Godson passed away on April 23rd, 2020 after battling COVID-19, but his legacy lives on through his music. It's a cutthroat world, and especially in the tri-state, New York, New Jersey, everyone's, you know, vying for that top spot. But with Fred, he was just such a star and such a talent that he didn't have a problem shining light on other people. And through the people he touched during his life. He was already great, so he didn't just want him to be great. He wanted everyone that he loved and all the people around him to be great. And, um, you know, he's one of the realest people I know I'll ever meet in life. A celebration of his life. Life. What a beautiful guy, what a beautiful soul, man. Uh, I miss him every day. And lyrics to forever remember him by. This man manifested his dreams through hip hop culture by writing songs. This man studied and mastered the language so well, he became easily one of the most admired writers in the rap game, period. No one wrote more clever and hilarious similes and metaphors like Fred the Godson. Friends and family gathered here today to remember Fred the Godson on his birthday, February 22nd, and they will continue to remember their legend as they gather here on the corner of Kelly Street and Leggett Avenue, which is now named for Fred the Godson. Reporting for BronxNet, Jericho Tran.